I almost forgot this, but the Lord brought it back to my mind. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. <clears throat> there are times we go to the doctor, we go to a hospital, and they tell you, uh, you've got this, you've got that, and then you go home and you tell everybody, I got this and I got that. And you haven't said, the doctor said, blah, blah, blah. You just assume the doctor knows what he's talking about. And instead of you de 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 depending on God's healing power and on the word of God, which says by his stripes, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed. You quote the doctor as if his word is the gospel. So I hear people say that they've gotten an uh, uh, old person's onset asthma, that they've gotten arthritis, or they've gotten a this problem or that problem. And, you know, there are things people take ownership of. If you put a bowl of rotten food in front of me, I'm not going to look at that food and say, oh, because she put my name on it. It's mine. No. I might not even touch it. I may just pass it up and look for the real stuff. Because, or else get somebody to throw it away. I won't even want to touch it. Because it's not mine. I don't care how many times they put my name around it. It's not mine. I haven't received it. I don't receive it. Matter of fact, I refuse it. So, when the doctors diagnosed me with congestive heart failure, guess what? As far as I'm concerned, I'm healed. And I'm doing everything to make sure that I maintain that healing and improve on my health. And I've been praying over my heart that it would be strengthened and renewed so you guys will witness to the fact that God heals. And I have never taken ownership. I refuse to own what they put on me. They said I had pneumonia. Well, I could tell there was water in my lungs. But guess what? I don't have pneumonia. I didn't decide, well, I'm going to live with it. I'm going to name myself. by That's one thing to have an affliction for a minute. And you can see the symptoms of pneumonia or walking pneumonia. But that doesn't mean that you're living with it daily and it's part of you now. No. You reject that bad boy. You pray that mess down and, and cast it out of your body. And then you do what's within your power to make things better. Until all symptoms have gone away. As well as pray. Don't claim. If a doctor tells you you have emphysema because you're out of breath, you have a hard time breathing one day, that doesn't mean you have emphysema. If somebody tells you, oh, you must have an allergy, and you sit there and say, oh, that must be my, no, no, no. No. People ask me all the time, well, you're sniffling. Do you have a, an allergy? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm, what I'm trying to say is don't be so hasty to receive the rotten fruit don't be so hasty as if somebody's forcing it on you and you have to take it you don't have to take a doggone thing when you know you're in Christ Jesus when you know that you're a uh, child of the Most High King. When you know that part of your inheritance is healing. The Bible says, and I think it's Psalms 103, might be 101. I believe it's 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thine iniquities and who heals all thine diseases. Come on now. I quote that over myself frequently and you should do the same. I don't quote what the doctor said. I quote what the word says. 
because the word gives life. The word has life in it and it gives life. Okay. That's a short one. That's a quickie. Think on those words and try to act accordingly. Thank you. God bless you as you walk in your healing and contend for the faith.